All right, guys, welcome back. Dino time today. We're going to be making how much? How much you guys think we're going to make today? First good pull is going to be 750. Kevin says 750. We're on 32 PSI right now. 730, Jeffrey? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm thinking 721. 721 wheel horsepower is what we're going to make today. Uh, 32 PSI, fully 85. It's actually E75. And uh, we're. It's pretty good to go, guys. My MMP 5353s, all set up. Now this is a heartbreaker dyno, isn't it, Kevin? This is definitely a heartbreaker I'm, I'm dyno. I'm the one who guesses the highest. This is odd. Yeah. What did this Hellcat make over here? It's like 724 with the full bolt-on E85 ported head, whatever, ported fucking blower. Who cares? Whatever. We're trying to make more than the Hellcat today. We're trying to make more than a fucking big-ass Hellcat motor. This tiny little three. So let's get to it. Hop in the car, dyno time. Let's pray it don't blow up, guys. Oh, we're gonna have to let the engine warm up for a second. It's been off. Probably gonna have to let it idle for a minute, fortunately. down for five minutes? Yeah, it's your frame will take it and you can rev it a little Let's bit see. higher. I'm always surprised the 800. I know. Let's just, we're gonna give it one more pull guys because right here look at we made it at 6600. My turbos love the upper RPMs. See this graph was gonna go and then I had some like slip on the dyno right here at Redline. It might have been wheel slip again Kevin. It could have. It might have been wheel slip at the end I'm not gonna lie. My mildly concerned is transmission. Uh, I think this transmission's good, man. I got that BT6 HP28. So, uh, shit. All right, we let it cool down. One more pull. All right. You want to stay out here for this? You ready? I'm ready. Head and drive. We're gonna crack 760 wheel horsepower right now, guys. 60. 760, you ready? Six. 
90 wheel fucking horsepower. That's fucking wild. And we cracked 600 torque that pole too. God damn, this car's a fucking beast. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy. It's been such a long build for this to come. Years. We're almost at eight fucking hundred right now, too. We're yeah. 30 horsepower away from 800. Wow. Damn. That's fucking awesome, man. That's a good diamond graph, too. Really good. I know. Fastest twin turbo model in the world. Most powerful twin turbo model in the world now, too. Let's fucking go. Let's go. We got the results, guys. It's no disrespect to anybody in your gutted cars and all. But we did this in a full fucking weight car, guys. Now gut it. Now, now gut it. it. Now, now we're gonna gut it and run some times, huh? Gotta get rid of this shitty interior anyway. It's been so dirty after so many years. Yeah, I guess that's it. It was a great success. Guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting in the summer months now. We're time to go gap some fast cars. We're about to go eat, baby. I'm moving to Florida end of this summer. So before I do here in Michigan, we gotta make all the v8 boosted boys remember this little blue beamer even though it's getting a new wrap very fucking soon stay tuned for that time to make the car look pretty guys she deserves to look fucking pretty now maybe we're gonna run a 4.9 60 to 130 i don't know i might go out and try to run a 4.9 i really want to hit a 4.9 60 to 130 it would mean a lot to me to hit a 4.9 so i think we might do it i think we might do it guys what should we do should we up the boost a couple more pounds Two more PSI, make that 800 guys. Not today. <laughs> you're, you're <tall. laughs> I think we're gonna chill on it for now. But uh, we already got the fastest one, but I really want a 4.9. Nitrous. Four. Nitrous. We might need nitrous help on spool. But uh, all right, that concludes it guys. That's pretty much it. We made 770 wheel horsepower, full weight car. We ran the fastest ever verified recorded 60 to 130 time on a twin turbo car ever, beating gutted cars. So yeah, we're in good shape right now, guys. We're in good shape. I'm very happy with the car. It's performed like it needed to. It did everything I wanted to do. It made the numbers. It showed the numbers. It showed all the results. It held. It's still holding. The turbos are great. The car sounds amazing. I'm really happy. I know. There's a lot of hate in the M54 community from my last post setting the time, but I just wanted to call the dude out, John Gago. I wanted to make it known that he did not have the fastest car because I was coming for the time. I wasn't gonna chase a time that wasn't real, guys. I wasn't gonna try to set a world record for a time that wasn't actually legit. Why, why would I waste my time? But anyway, man, I'm, I'm not as toxic as you guys, so I really don't care anymore. I just wanted to show you guys what the car could do. I told you what it would do. Still, it's it's amazing how much hate I've got from it also. I was just excited about sharing the results, guys. I've just been excited as fuck. The car's working. You know how many years and how many issues I've had with this car? All the build and the money and the hard work and blood and sweat I put into it, and it all paid off now. So, I really don't even give a fuck about you haters anymore, bro. All you guys are just telling me, like, like I don't understand how people are trying to tell me my turbos are maxed out. My turbos are junk. My engine's junk. I built it wrong. Like, my car's junk. Like, it's just ridiculous. So, fuck it. I'm done with the hate. I don't even give a fuck. I'm not entertaining shit. I exposed that John Gago dude for being a fucking racist scum. I knew I didn't like him. I knew there was a lot more behind him. And I just can tell by the person he is. So, fuck that, guys. I'm out here. I wish I could help you guys. But these vlogs aren't really about helping you guys anymore which i wish they were i mean i've tried to help you guys with the smoking turbo issues with the pcv on my channel so that's really all i can do right now guys i mean i can go and show you everything i've done i mean i'm trying to help you i guess i've showed you my whole build everything i've done all the parts i've used from ppi shout out plug and play integration shout out my tuner michael hollingsworth shout out josh guru auto works for the 6hp 28 kit shout out rod something for the trans tune shout out fucking everybody else all my friends in real life everyone else that helped me out with parts and everything i appreciate you guys a lot made the build a fucking success 
I'm done with the hate. Fuck the shit talking. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you're going to say about this video, my car's fast as fuck. It made a fuck ton of power. I'm having fun with it. Now I'm going to make it look pretty. Give it a brand new wrap, guys. Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't even really know anymore. Like, what else... What else do I say now? Like, what you guys are just gonna hate on me? Like, I I'm running faster times than 2,600 pound 30 psi gutted cars in my full weight car, and it's not to belittle them, guys. It's just what I just want to get it out there. What the performance this car has, what these turbos have. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We got a lot more to come. Maybe we'll run a 4.9. I might turn it up a little bit. Get that glory run in. What do you what do you think? You guys want to see a 4.9? I kind of want to see a 4.9. I'm kind of like so close to fucking fours that I feel like I have to now. So Alright, fuck it guys. That's it. That's all for this video. Fucking crazy ass twin turbo. 335i, the craziest twin turbo build in the world. By me by my best friend Jeffrey for helping me too. Shout out him. And yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Fucking fastest, most powerful twin model in the world. And we did it. I love you all. For my haters, fuck you guys. See you on the next video. Peace out.